Hello friends, this is the fifth tutorial in series of tutorials on how to set up the Oracle 19C data guard and in this tutorial or in this particular video, we will be covering how to enable the fast start failover. In the first four videos, we have already covered in the first video steps involved. In the second video, we covered how to create a primary database. In the third video, we covered how to create the standby from primary and enable the MRP. In the fourth video, we covered how to enable the data guard broker and in this video, we will be looking at how to start the fast or how to enable the fast start failover. Now, remember that the fast start failover uh, to start the to set up the fast start failover, you need to set up the data guard broker. So you have to have your data guard broker enabled to do the fast start failover, which I have already done. Now, uh, my just to just a reminder my primary database is oracle dp and my start standby database is oracle ds the this particular configuration is already been set in the max performance mode with my data guard broker currently enabled so the steps to set the fast start failover are you have to set the log xpt transport mode to sync on primary sync on standby set the production mode as max availability enable the configuration enable the fast start failover and enable the observer let me repeat the steps set the log transport mode as sync for primary sync for the standby set the protection mode as max availability enable the configuration enable the fast start failover and enable the observer no so let me let me connect to the my data guard broker and just show you the configuration what is the current configuration so I am I am having max performance. The fast start failover is currently disabled while my configuration status is success, which means I have got the data guard up and running. I can also run the query on primary and standby. So this is my primary. So Oracle DP is primary and switch over status is standby and Oracle DS is physical standby and switch over status is not allowed so let before before proceeding i would like to do a one sample transaction so let me let me do select star from test one on primary so i, I have done this particular transition on primary so let me take this paste it here so i've done this particular and if you see the same records the two records are there on standby as well so what i'll do is i will ins run this particular query the insert query so if i show you this particular query all it does it, it just inserts two records in this particular table so at the end we will have four records in this particular table 61 and 65 will get added so let's run this particular script on the primary where I'm inserting the two records. And once that is done, we will do the select star on the standby to verify whether we got so whatever. So we did this particular transaction on primary. We inserted two records and that records have been replicated to standby the 61 and 65. So our data guard broker is enabled and our data guard is perfectly working and right now as i showed you the fast start failover is disabled so to enable the fast start failover you will run the command enable fast start failover so let's try to do that and it says okay requirements not met so some of the requirements are not met and as i said we need to set this to sync on primary sync on standby and we have to have the current production mode mode is max performance so we need to have max availability so let me do that so first on the primary so actually before doing that what i'll do is let me clear the screen and that's done for the primary so i have set it for primary so let me also set it for standby that's done and edit the configuration as max ability which is the third step that's done now let me enable the configuration and show configuration and 
till now I have done the prerequisite but still the fast start failover is disabled and previously when we try to do the okay that command is gone so previously when we did try to do the enable fast start failover we got the error so now let me run the same command again and let's see whether our fast start failover is getting started so now uh, once this is done so enabled in zero data, data loss mode so looks like I did not get any warning I did not get any error so looks like our fast start failover so right now if you see fast start failover is disabled and now fast start failover is enabled but I am getting still getting a warning that my observer is not started and what is the observer so we need to start the observer after enabling the fast start failover we will be starting the observer what observer does is like it actually monitors if there is any issue on the primary and it initiates the switch over the switch over or the failover will be done by the observer so that would be the work of observer so what what i'll so if i if i show you now let me clear the screen our fast start failover which was disabled fast start failover which was disabled here is enabled but our observer is not started and now I will start my observer. So before doing that, let me clear the screen and show you this particular message. The observer is not started on the primary. Observer is not started on the standby. To start the observer, what we what we will do is we will run this particular command start observer. We'll give the file, whatever file, and we will give the log file and we will connect to the primary and we will start the observer so this is what i am going to do to start the observer so let me clear the screen and i'll show you the command before so dgmgrl connect to the primary start observer give the file the the observer config file and then the log files and i'm starting this in no hub background mode so that's done and see if that job is running so right now the observer is running if I can show you that it is running so now let me clear the screen and just show you once again that my observer is running and if observer is running let's see whether this particular picks up so till now uh, 59 seconds ago so let's see okay so here I was getting this warning aura 16819 fast start failover observer not started and now if I show you I don't seem to have any warning so looks like everything the warning that was appeared here once I started the observer that warning has gone and right now if I can show you my show configuration shows that configuration status is success fast start failover is enabled so to do to start the to enable the fast start failover we have to set the log xpt mode sync on primary sync on standby configured max availability enable the configuration enable the fast start failover and enable the observer these are the few steps that we have to do to enable the fast start failover now once that we have done the fast start failover let's verify that we we are the switch over automatically happens so if you see my current primary is oracle dp and my current standby is oracle ds so if i if i run this particular query if I run this particular query on the primary, let me clear the screen and let me clear the screen and let me minimize this and let me run the query here and Oracle DP is primary and Oracle DS is standby. And what I'm going to do is I am going to kill Oracle DP m on p mon processes i'm going to kill the p mon process so once this particular oracle dp is killed the the uh, the uh, primary is killed the fast start failover is going to initiate the failover to make the oracle ds as physical standby so right now if i have to show you my okay so i'll keep this particular screen so let me clear this and my primary is oracle dp so let me open one more session okay i'll have to open it later so so what i'll do is let me clear the screen here and 
Oracle DP is primary, Oracle DS is standby, and I am going to terminate the PMON process of Oracle DP. Fast start failover is going to initiate the failover and make Oracle DS as primary. So that's what and the DBA intervention, the manual intervention is re not required. Automatically, Oracle Data Guard Broker along with Fast Start Failover is going to initiate the switchover or failover for us. Let's do that. So let me go here and let me exit and find out the processes of primary to kill the primary. And these are the processes. I'm going to kill the PMON and SMON. So I'll kill these two processes. Sorry, not the standby. Not the standby. Not the standby. Clear. I have to kill the, the primary is Oracle DP. So I am going to kill primary. So the process of primary. So let me do that. Okay. So I have selected all the processes and I'm hitting the enter and let's see okay so looks like my primary is gone down if I show you any processes with Oracle DP right now except this fast start failover I don't see any process running on primary see the PMON and SMON and all the MON processes of Oracle DP have disappeared so while it is doing that let me connect to another session on the DGMG RL and let's see what is our current status. So primary database not available and Oracle DS is still physical standby. So that matches the previously what we saw here was the Oracle DP was primary. So let me bring it this Oracle DP was primary and Oracle DS was physical standby. Right now I can see the primary is not available because I have just terminated the PMON SMON processes of the primary. So it is not available and Oracle DS is still standby. So let me do this one more time and looks like the, the my connection has been terminated. So let me try doing the connection once again and let me show you. So now what I get is Oracle DP is standby so oracle dp was primary now oracle dp so let me clear the screen and show configuration sorry and oracle ds so oracle dp was primary and oracle ds is now primary while oracle dp is disabled and the standby database needs to be reinstated so looks like we need to reinstate our primary to to make it connected so right now the switchover has happened so if you see oracle ds has become the primary oracle ds was standby here if you see here but now oracle ds is primary while oracle dp we need the switchover still not done so let me try to connect the primary yeah let me clear the screen let me connect to that particular database the primary and let me start up the database currently it is idle so let me start up the database in mount mode and while it is doing that I'll go to another location and I will do this the tail minus F here try to connect to new standby connection to standby new standby restored so it till the time I did not started the database it was trying to connect to the old primary or new standby Oracle DP and now that it was failed because it was not started now that I have started the connection to new standby is restored so now let's go here and see what is our configuration so the standby the database needs to be restored so looks like new primary is now ready to restate so if you see we got the connection to primary restored wait for the new primary so our log issuing reinstate command so re right now it is reinstating the old primary or new standby so the oracle dp 
it is reinstating so if you see here the message is needs to be reinstated so right now it is trying to reinstate the standby so while it is doing that let's see one more time the configuration and incorrect database role so looks like the database role is incorrect but uh, that the reinstate re needs to reinstate that message is gone and let's see what the standby oracle ready is to be ready for fso so let's see the target okay so let me do this one more time and uh, multiple warnings fast start failover and the successfully reinstated so the the reinstate has happened so let me go here and show you the configuration and unsynchronized fast start, fast start failover enabled so the message that standby needs to be reinstated that is gone incorrect database role that is gone and right now i got this unsynchronized fast start failover configuration so let's do one more time and let's wait for it to get synchronized automatically i'm not going to do anything so unsynchronized fast start failover so let's let's give it a minute and see what it is doing whether it's going to fix this problem on its own or it's going to ask me to do some kind of intervention so let's give it a minute so here i'm not seeing anything okay it should do but let's see unsynchronized fast start failover configuration let's give it a minute okay and finally my last warning unsynchronized fast start failover is also gone and right now if i show you and this is my this was my original and this is my new so let me clear the screen and let me run the same command on this side and if you see oracle dp was primary and oracle ds is primary oracle ds was physical standby and oracle dp is physical standby so without me doing anything the fast start failover has initiated the uh, the failover and when i started the database in mount mode the primary in the mount mode the reinstate automatically has been done by the observer so and now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are able to see the records being getting replicated so now let me minimize this particular so let me exit out of this clear the screen and connect to this as this one and let me exit out of this and clear the screen and connect here and now i will show you the role this was my physical standby and now if i run this oracle ds was my physical standby now oracle ds is primary and if i run this same query over here and if i show you okay that's gone so if i put this particular command the oracle dp oracle ds is primary oracle dp is physical standby i'll try to do insert over here and before doing the insert i will show you the record counts so i got four records in this particular table so let me sh show you the script which actually does the insert of two more records it just does the insert so i'm going to do insert of 75 and 78 currently i got 53 54 61 65 and now i'm going to insert 75 and 78 so let me run the select star first and i got this two record uh, four records and let me insert this another two records and before okay so that's done and i should have showed you that they, those records are not there on the primary but anyway that's fine and let me hit here and i got i got my six records so let me do one thing so i because i did not show i will delete the 61 king i will delete this or i will delete 61 and 65 and let's see whether that delete also gets replicated so let me delete from test one where c1 in 61 and 
65. So let me delete these two records and two records deleted and let me commit this transaction and now let's see on the standby whether and I see that the records which I deleted are no longer present in my test one on physical standby. So this was the tutorial on fast start failover. So to configure the fast start failover, we configure the log XPT mode to sync on primary, sync on standby, configure the data protection mode in max availability or max protection, enable the configuration, enable the fast start failover, enable the observer and when the primary goes down, the switchover or the failover is going to happen automatically and then if you want to reinstate the old primary or new standby, you have to do the startup mount on the old primary. So startup mount on the old primary or new standby and then the Oracle is going to take care to automatically do the reinstate. So that log, I can, yeah, so it will try to do the new primary ready to instate so everything is going to do and the reinstate of new standby is going to happen automatically i hope this series of tutorials was useful and will find helpful for you to set up your data guard environment we have covered in this particular series of tutorial we have covered literally everything so we have covered the step what in the first video we covered what are the steps involved in the second video we covered how to create the primary database or how to set up the primary, how to create the standby from primary and how to enable the MRP. In the next tutorial, we covered how to enable the data guard broker and in this video, we covered how to enable the fast start failover. I hope this series of tutorials will be useful and you will be able to set up your data guard, your data guard environment, your data guard broker and also you will be able to configure your fast start failover and you are ready to implement this knowledge in your life or in your practical day-to-day uh, -day work environment. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.